Hello students. I know many of you are preparing for the upcoming CUT exam and why not? Because this will be the deciding factor where you will be sending the next two years of your master's life. So CUT is the exam that is your future ticket for your dream destination. That means your dream college which you want to join for doing your master's in food science and technology. So since you all are a little bit confused as to where to uh, prepare from and what can be the possible questions that may be asked. So we at AgriVision for you are here with a previous year question series. Here we have already posted six videos in which we discussed around uh, eight questions per videos which were asked in CUT 2022 and next we'll be posting very soon the videos related to 2023 also in which we very deeply analyze every question and what is the reason why a particular question has that answer. So uh, we dive, we deep dive into every question and uh, give a possible explanation for that question. So this is the part seven for this series and I'm Divyanshu Gupta, your mentor for food science and technology. So coming straight away for the first question, the chief characteristics of a stale bread are. So what is a stale bread? So staling in bread is usually attributed by retrogradation of starch. That means the soggy appearance of the bread and that aroma which comes of a stale bread. So why, uh, what are the characteristics that are, which are usually associated with stale bread? So both low water holding capacity and shrinkage are usually observed in the stale bread. So you can obviously mark one and two as the answer, but that will not be approved because both one and two are the right answer for this question. And this is usually observed in your fresh bread, soft crumb and hard crust. So it is not a to your stale bread. So fourth is the most optimum answer for this question. Coming to the next question which we have, which of the following is also known as tin free steel in food canning. So steel based coated with chromium as I told you in the class when we were discussing about the tin can manufacturing process in your canning chapter. So I very well explain why it is called as your tin free steel can because it is a steel base which is coated with chromium and there is no tin which is being used. So this is the most optimum answer for this question. This was asked in CUT 2022. Then during wet milling of maize, sulfur dioxide is mixed with steeping water for the reasons to soften the grains. No, to promote the separation of proteins and starch. No, not at all. To avoid germination. No, not at all. So to improve the appearance of grain, SO2 is being mixed with steeping water during the milling of your maize. So third is the right answer for this question. Coming to the next question, we have which of the following equipment is used in the floor mill to break insect eggs and larva? So this is a question from your food plant equipment, which is very usually uh, associated with your food engineering. So entolator is the machine which is being used for breaking the larva of your insect eggs and it is very commonly being used. So uh, you won't find it uh, very usually being asked in exam but uh, you can always expect some random questions that can be there. So this is one of that questions that many people are not aware of. So coming to the next question, we have the radicals produced during irradiation can be detected by using. So what is irradiation? It is also known as a cold sterilization. That means using your radioactive isotopes, that is your gamma rays, electron beams, X-ray, your cobalt 60 and cesium-137, which we are using in order to achieve sterilization uh, induced uh, stop your sprouting and uh, to stop the infestation. So how can we detect the radicals which are being formed? So when we were discussing about irradiation in the class, I guess in uh, the starting of January when we were discussing, I told you there are two mechanisms by which irradiation works. That is first by your DNA denaturation. That means it will be specifically acting on some portion of the DNA and causing excessive denaturation at those points. It will be breaking the bonds. And then secondary, I explained that uh, your uh, H2O will be split it on into various free radicals. So how can those free radicals be detected? So electron spin resonance is the method ESR spectroscopy by which those radicals can be detected off. It is a very important question and in very much detail. It is not usually asked in exam and you can expect some questions like this in the exam also. So a person who is very well equipped with the knowledge of irradiation and all, he or she only will be able to attempt that question. Then coming to the next question, we have which of the following is an example of oxygenated carotenoids? So carotenoids we know uh, are the pigments which are found in your fruits and vegetables. So they are asking about your oxygenated carotenoids. That means which have oxygen which are attached to it. So zeaxanthin is the answer for this question. Zeaxanthin are the oxygenated carotenoids which are found in fruits and vegetables. This was asked in CVT 2022. Then 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सिंपल लिपिड सो सिंपल लिपिड विच आर फाउंड In, the, in their existing states in nature, so spignomyelins are not that, ganglocytes is not there, then phosphoacyl glycosyrrhals are not. Then waxes is the correct answer for this question. So if in case you are having any doubt or any difficulty or you are not able to understand the questions, you can comment that doubt. and we will be very reluctant to answer those doubts apart from that if you want a deeper insight into any topic or you want to explain a uh, better explanation of any questions you may uh, contact on the number given on the screen and we'll be very much happy to clarify your all doubts and if you want to join our classes you may contact on the given number or the website you will be uh, able to see the package and uh, if you contact on the number the helpline number will be able to uh, guide you through all the process which is related to the joining of the course then coming to the next question is is a uh, application based question that means uh, it if you are very well aware about uh, current uh, uh, current affairs then only you will be able to answer this question so india holds first position in production of spices and fruits and vegetables no not at all then india ranks second in the wheat production yes india ranks second in the wheat production so uh, which will be the right answer for this question both statement 1 and 2 are true no both statement 1 and 2 are false no One is true, second is false. No, then fourth is the right answer for this question. That means first is false, second is true, and these all questions were asked in CVT 2022. So here we come to the end of your part seven of this video series in which we are discussing your previous year questions and clarifying your doubts related to your exam. If you want a deeper insight on any of your question, you may comment down all your queries, and we'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts. Stay connected for part eight, and that was all. for this video we'll meet in part 8 thank you all all the best for your exam